have a quick question from our YouTube comments from Liza on really how to create an anchor that brings their user to a specific part of their homepage or a page in general. So what we're going to show you guys is how to create a button that anchors to a, a specific portion of your website. In this, pay, in, in this specific example, we're going to use a blog feed. So with that said, let's get started. I have already a somewhat of a already done uh, project here, but don't worry about what's happening here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our uh, essentially our quick ads here and we're going to go all the way down to blog. And what we're going to do is we're going to add site. We're going to let it do its thing. It's going to prepare a layout and it's going to add two pages to our website. There are three options here, but we're very simply going to stick with the first one. So we're going to let it do its thing. It's as I said, it's going to create two or around three pages for us, a search results, a blog page and a post page it does some beautiful things for us. Now what we are going to do, let's go ahead and check our pages. So we have, like I said, we have the blog, we have the post and the search results recreated for us. Now what you will see something a little bit different in your posts page or all po your blog page, because I have already created three uh, posts and you can create posts by going to manage. And this is a little bit off topic, but just in case if you're wondering why there's things there, I essentially have created, uh, already new posts from these templates so you guys can see that at least that there's posts there so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm very quickly just gonna go to settings go to layout and I am just going to pick a layout that I actually like something more vertical perfect now what I want let's say hmm awesome we have a blog page but what I really want is I want these articles on my home page so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go back to my home page where we now are. I've already created a nice little section here down below. I'm going to go back to add elements. I am going to go back to our blog section. And now that we have this blog widget here, we have a whole bunch of different items that we can actually put on different pages. So like I said, I really like the vertical sort of blog post widget. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag this, attach this to this section. I'm going to make sure that the widget that I have just pulled in is actually centered both horizontally, horizontally and vertically in my section. Go to settings yet again, go to display, excuse me, layout. We're going to go to classic or rather side by side. There we go. There's our vertical view. And now what we are going to do is answer the question. How do we get this button to basically help us to scroll down to our or anchor down to our section? So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go and click on my layers. I'm going to go to my section here and I'm going to open up my inspector and I am going to scroll all the way down on in the inspector to the anchor section. What you'll probably see is it's collapsed just like this. You just want to open it and you want to add an anchor. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on and we are going to name the anchor log. Now, I'm going to name this blog section because I'm going to show you guys two things because the question in the YouTube comments was very specific. They wanted to create a container that contains this widget. So I'm going to show you two things. So one, that's how you create an anchor, right? Okay. We have blog section, but now let's go ahead and take this widget and actually place it in a container. You can select or press alt C or I believe option C if you're on a Mac, but also you can just click your widget go to these three dots and go to place and container. And as you can see, now our contain our widget is now within a container and we can do the exact same thing. Let's say if our section has many more things than just this widget within it, we can add a container to or place our widget within a container, select our container, go to our inspector and do the exact same thing. Go to this anchor section in our inspector panel, click add anchor and call it log container and we don't need to do capitalization blog container perfect and now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I want this button that we have here to actually create an anchor go, go down to this either our section or our widget container so I'm gonna click my link here and rather than a page I want to go to anchor I'm gonna choose this page and rather than top of page I now have those two 
anchor titles that I've created for both my section and my container. So my friend, this is exactly where you are going to choose where you want to anchor your user or where your anchor, where your user will go once they click this button. So we're just going to very simply just go to that blog container. We're going to hit done. We're going to go to publish. We're going to preview. And we are here on the homepage. Disregard this search. This very simply just got pasted here in brains, like the, the very dead center of the, the site. Let's not focus on that when we created the blog. We can very simply drag this over here. But let's go ahead and click this button now. Start now. And we are pulled down to our blog section. So that is how you create anchors for the sections of your site. And in particular, my friend, this is how you do this specifically for your blog. So I hope this helps. If this has helped you, do not forget to like this video, subscribe, share this with your friends, and check out more amazing tips and tricks and Editor X tutorials on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. And also do not forget to join our Discord link down below in the description. If you have any questions or want to ask a group of people about questions regarding Editor X, we have an amazing Discord community in which you can ask amazing questions to creatives like yourself, myself, and just meet and network with amazing people like yourself. So with that said, have a great day and talk to you soon.